All right, ladies, are you ready for a lesson in accountability? I'm gonna share with you the biggest divine feminine cop-out line that I'm hearing in the spiritual community. And that is when a woman says, the divine masculine is out of balance and therefore we can't step into our divine feminine. And so we have to step into our masculine and take over this role. If you're saying that, then you have an issue with taking accountability. I had an experience in a meditation where I had a visitation from an Egyptian goddess named Hathor, a loving being known for being in her divine feminine. And let me tell you something about what it, what I've learned being in the presence of true divine femininity. A true queen is not going to waver between her divine feminine and masculine, depending on the people in her environment. See where this is going? You know, a true queen doesn't act like a fool because one of the peasants is acting out of line. She remains in her center and doesn't use excuses as to why she's not acting appropriately. Well, look at the, look at the masculine over there. It's the biggest cop out I'm hearing in the spiritual community and it's time to start taking accountability that's all i got thanks for watching